Natalia was investigating extrajudicial killings by Russian government troops during the Chechen wars. Abuses carried out by Chechen law enforcement agencies, secret prisons, houses being burned by masked gunmen in uniforms, public executions. Every day there was a queue of people next to her office. Those people would tell her terrifying stories about their sons being tortured by Kadyrovci, the people of Ramzan Kadyrov, uh, the Chechen leader who was given almost an ultimate power by the Kremlin. The official investigation says that this murder was conducted by an armed band, but a friend and a colleague of Natalia Alek Arlov is persuaded that this murder was organized at the highest level possible and that Ramzan Kadyrov is behind this. Let's take a listen to what Alek Arlov told me. Why is the investigation sabotaged? Very simple. It's in this new statement of human rights organizations that there are grounds, serious grounds, for believing that people from the authorities of the Chechen Republic were involved in Natasha's murder. Her most recent work had been devoted to a public extrajudicial execution in one of the Chechen villages. It was this material that caused the negative attitude of the Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, which, as we know, he told his entourage about. Ramzan Kadyrov denies those accusations and describes this murder as a monstrous crime. Galina, is there any evidence that Kadyrov and the Chechen authorities were uh, involved in her murder? While well, the colleagues of Natalia say that just before the murder, Natalia received threats from the aides of Ramzan Kadyrov. In 2008, uh, she was summoned by him and Kadyrov told her how unhappy he was with her job. Natalia's daughter, Lana, knew about those threats and uh, she knew that Natalia was worried for her life and the life of her daughter. And Lana was only 15 when her mother was murdered. Now she lives in the UK. That was was the dream of Natalia. Actually, she writes a book about her mother and hopes that one day the murders of Natalia Estimirova, her mother, will be judged. Let's take a listen to what Lana told me. During the war, she was still engaged in investigating the atrocities of the federal forces and Russian troops, such as kidnapping, torture, rape. She openly criticized the Kadyrov regime. To be honest, it seems to me, while Putin is sitting in the Kremlin and Kadyrov is in charge of everything in Chechnya, I do not believe that they will find the real killers of my mother. Dmitry Medvedev, who was the Russian president uh, back at the time when Natalia was murdered, uh, said that uh, the idea of Kadyrov, Kadyrov's guilt is just uh, a nonsense. He ruled it out, saying that it was uh, primitive and unacceptable.